Hello and welcome to the fall 2024 semester. I'd like to welcome you to class and I would like to spend a few minutes today talking about two of the main platforms that we're going to be using throughout the semester. Those two platforms, Notion and Google Classroom. Now Notion, in fact, is what you're looking at here on your screen. This is where we're going to be interacting with most of the content for the semester. So depending on which class you have with me, each class will have a main page where you have general information about each course, some links, a calendar, and also the syllabus. And so when you go into the main page, you will have the link to the Google Classroom, which we'll talk more about here in a second. And you're going to have the calendar. Now, the calendar is a very important space here where you can access all the lessons. And I typically create week, weekly lessons where you can open up the page and find what we're working on for that particular week. So if for any reason you need to go back and review things that we've already done in class and talked about, or perhaps maybe you missed a class and you need to see what we're working on for that particular day, typically a lesson page in Notion is going to look much like this where information is going to be included in each day that we have our class. So this is going to appear in this calendar in the main page of each of the course and you can see here at a glance and easily open up each of those lessons. Now if you're new to Notion when you open up this this screen you can create a full page by clicking that option and you have the full page there but by default you will it will open up as a what they call a center peak so this is where you can find the lessons and of course the syllabus which will be available to you throughout the semester so do take a look at this and as you get started you'll probably want to get in the habit of maybe bookmarking each of the lessons as we work week to week from lesson to lesson so each of the class, regardless of which of the classes you have with me for this fall 2024 semester is going to be very similar in design by having basically what I showed here uh, with the first class here. So this is Notion. Now this is primarily related to content that I'm creating and content that you're going to be interacting with throughout the semester. But Notion can also be your own private and personal space where you organize your own uh, assignment, your own learning, and we'll talk about ePortfolios in a minute, but I would encourage you to become familiar with Notion and consider creating your own space for, again, as a student, uh, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to organize your ideas, and uh, I feel perhaps be a more organized uh, student if you use a platform very similar to this. And since we're already in Notion, I, I encourage you to become familiar with it throughout the semester and uh, begin maybe considering Notion to uh, include some of your assignments and some of the tasks that you're asked to complete. Okay, so the next platform that we're gonna be using is Google Classroom. Now Google Classroom has a mobile app and I didn't mention Notion's mobile app. They also have uh, an app that you can install on your phone. So I would install these two apps, Google Classroom and Notion. And it will make it, I think, a little bit easier for you to, to navigate around. And in this case with Google Classroom, access the assignments, the graded assignments and the, and the grades. The combination of Notion and Google Classroom. Google Classroom primarily, again, is going to be a way that you can access your grades and find out which assignments, which tasks that we're doing that you will receive a grade. And so all of those assignments are going to be in the Google Classroom platform. And many times you're going to simply access Notion through Google Classroom. So again, I'm going to organize by week in Google Classroom the different tasks and activities and the assignments that we're going to be completing. And again, some of them will just be links. For example, a week one lesson, each week you're going to have access to where you can find these weekly lessons. These are the same lessons 
that appeared in the calendar that I showed earlier. This is just another way of accessing the information. So whatever, however you feel most comfortable in accessing this information, you can access it through Google Classroom or you can access it directly through Notion. So you find your workflow that uh, is the best for you. And uh, the main thing is that you are able to find this information and uh, interact as we uh, work through the different assignments throughout the semester. So that's primarily it. Do take a look at this, this page where I've included a little bit more information about Notion. I'm not going to go through all these points, um, but there is a link if you want to learn more about Notion that I've provided that I would encourage you to take a look at. And I've included a lot of videos and bookmarks that you might find useful as you are becoming familiar with Notion if you've never used it before. Also, we're going to be talking a lot about written feedback. A lot of the courses that I'm going to be teaching this semester require writing. So I have some links here, a writing error code list that you might want to take a look at. Uh, you're going to be, we'll be working a lot with the different error codes, the error types, and working on how to identify what they are and also ways of either correcting those errors or of avoiding them in the first place. I have another link here for that relates to AI and we'll be talking a lot more about that and later date I'll include a video here in this page but this is going to be something that we talk about a lot and work closely uh, each of us working very closely and uh, finding ways to use AI and avoid it depending on the objectives of the different uh, activities or courses or the uh, activities or the assignments that we're working on. So do take a look at that. And the last link that you might want to take a look at is related to ePortfolios. And uh, this is a page that I've included some, some ideas and some tips on how you can go about creating your own ePortfolio, whether it's for a class as a requirement, or maybe it's just an ePortfolio that you want to continue maintaining and adding to uh, through, through all the different courses that you are taking. So if you have a course with me that where you're required to create an ePortfolio, again, we'll talk about it in class. But again, this is a, a page that I created to give you some ideas about perhaps thinking about developing a space where you add some of your work or your reflections so that you can demonstrate some of the things that you've been learning throughout your college experience. So I think we'll stop there. This has been just a quick video talking about the two main platforms that we're going to be using throughout the semester, Google Classroom and Notion. If you do have any questions, especially getting started in any of the technologies that we're talking about, make sure you're reaching out to me so that we can uh, resolve your, uh, I can try to resolve your doubts. And uh, I look forward to getting started.